In this video, I'm going to show you how to move from Streamlabs to Stream Elements. Not Streamlabs OBS, but Streamlabs Alert System to Stream Elements Alert Overlays. This is actually pretty straightforward. I just want to make sure it's very clear how simple it is to do this so that nobody has to be afraid to move from Stream labs to stream elements. If you want a video on how to move Streamlabs OBS to OBS Studio, I will link a good video in the description that I found by a different creator. In order to make this work, you're going to need to use Chrome. So install Chrome. I believe this will work on Microsoft's newest version of Edge as well, since it's Chromium based and you can install plugins there. But you're going to need a Chrome browser to make this work. So the first thing we're going to need to do is log in to stream elements and Streamlabs. If you guys want a quick way to get there, there's links in the description. But just log in to Stream Elements and Streamlabs. That's step number one. Then once you're logged in on Stream Elements, you're going to want to click on your profile icon in the top right corner and go to Import. Then you're going to look for Streamlabs. Click on Streamlabs. You're going to want to add this Chrome web extension. So you're going to hit Add to Chrome and Add Extension. Now that you have the Chrome plugin installed, you're going to go to Streamlabs. And once you're on the dashboard, all you have to do is click the little puzzle piece looking icon in Chrome up here and look for the Streamlabs export to stream elements. You're going to click that. And it's going to open this window and you're going to say start import to stream elements and you can import tips and alerts. Uh, I'm not going to import tips. I'm just going to import alerts and we're going to say start import to stream elements and give it a second and then click done when it's done if you go back to stream elements and you click on my overlays here is your new imported alert box all you have to do is if you want to go in you can click edit and click on the alert box click settings and click on the cog to change whatever alerts you want and if i were to emulate a follower event you could see right here we've got a follow and the alerts are working just as they did in Streamlabs but now they're over in Stream Elements. All you have to do is click this little copy overlay URL paste it into OBS Studio as a browser source and use the same dimensions you see here it says 800 by 600 for this that's all you have to do is do 800 by 600 and paste this URL in and you're good to go so that's it. It's that simple. It's that quick. You just move with the Chrome plugin your alerts. So that's it. It's that simple. It's that straightforward and that fast. All you have to do is use the Chrome extension and it will import everything. It will also import your tipping information so that you have your record of your revenue moves from the one platform to the other, which will help you keep track of your tips. So that's it. Happy transitioning from Streamlabs to Stream Elements. I'm going to be doing an entire series on Stream Elements moving forward. For a while, you're going to see videos on how to set up crazy effects and alerts and overlays. And then I'm going to be moving on to a very special tool and program that I think everybody should know how to use, which is called Streamer.bot. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.